Mrs. Magdad and I enjoy watching the Craftsman Steady Crafting Channel. A recent episode was about customizing 1 64th scale diecast cars for use in the popular tabletop war game Gaslands. Craftsman showed how diecast cars could be modified with items you have on hand. Mrs. Magdad suggested I give it a try. I had this Matchbox VW Dune Buggy I got at a yard sale. I was doing some research online and I discovered there's something called Wasteland Weekend. It's like a renaissance fair for people who are into the post-apopalapa, post apopa dapa ah, Post-apocalyptic! Wow. Thanks, Chuck. They dress up like extras from the Mad Max movies and even modify their cars to match. I found a couple modified VW bugs that gave me some good ideas. My custom dune buggy is going to need a gun, some armored spikes, and some kind of pusher bar. I watch enough diecast channels on YouTube to know that the first step was to drill out the rivets. Once I had the car apart, I stripped the paint off the body. I looked around for some supplies to turn this buggy into a gasland machine. This frame hanger looked like it could be a wicked pusher bar. I thought I could maybe use these glazier points for spikes on the hood. And the points of these golf tees might look good on the centers of the wheels. I marked on the roof where I wanted a hole for the backseat gunner. I took a standard glazier point, bent it flat, cut it down, and folded the ends over. I cut some slits in the hood with my Dremel. The modified points fit in pretty well. I used this tile cutting bit to cut out the roof. I first drilled a hole to get the bit started. I found this army guy. His M16 looked like a good candidate for my roof mounted machine gun. To make the car look beat up, dented, and battle worn, I used this ball cutter bit. I went around the body, randomly adding divots and gouges. I had to keep rotating the car to prevent the marks from having too much of a pattern. So here's all my modifications. I used super glue and baking soda to attach everything. I made the panels for the side windows from the metal left over from cutting down the frame hanger pusher bar. The mesh in the front and rear windows is actual fiberglass screening left over from a replacement job I did on my screen door last fall. The golf tee spikes on the wheels remind me of the Trick Chariot in the Ben-Hur movie. I mixed up a thinned down rust colored wash to coat the body. Once I had it coated, I used a clean brush to pull some of the paint off to expose some of the metal. After the paint was dry, I added some light tan to simulate desert mud. I used the bushiest brush I had and dabbed just a slight amount of paint on randomly all over the car. I think the pros call this dry brushing. Here's what this dune buggy looked like before I started. And here it is, customized for the Gaslands game or a Wasteland Weekend Vehicle Parade. I had fun modifying the car with items I had around the house. I'm usually trying to make old rusty items look new. So making this car look old, beat up, and weathered was quite a switch for me. It looks like it would be a fun car to take out into the desert. I'm not sure if I would want to drive or man the machine gun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. 
Here are some of the rotary tool bits that came in handy for me when working on this project. I used the thin cutoff wheel for the slits in the hood. I found that I can get away with using the face of this heavy cutting wheel for trimming. These tiny burrs cut the die cast metal well. I used the ball profile to rough up the body. I used this tile cutter bit to cut out the roof. These abrasive coated bits are great for shaping the rock hard super glue baking soda mixture. 